are doing guys so today i'm going to play the classic challenge as usual um i'm currently at like 356 classic challenge so i'll apply for 357 so this is like a daily classic challenge video for me and so please like and subscribe if you want some daily challenge videos and also you can really improve on a lot of um these gameplays like what we're seeing from it and also like playing from different really so this guy has the lightning, I'll just go for a royal hawk since he doesn't have a fireball or any poison or something like that. He may have something else, but okay, this is, this is a really interesting play by him because he has the tesla and also the um, bomber right there. I think this is a good matchup, but I'll still try. Um, it's always like important to try. Let's just try to beat this guy. I'll just go for the goblin hut right here. This hut will probably... Um, Alright, so he has the expo, but with a extra uh, spice right here. I really hate this deck, but whatever. I'm just going to fireball this shit because the expo should kind of just melt. And it does have a lot of health, so it doesn't really die to a fireball or something like that. But it's fine, the expo is going to go down right there. And since they used the lightning, he cannot just use the lightning on the almost dead goblin hut. He's going to use the law for 100%. I'm just going to bait out the lightning if possible. I'll just go for the flying machine right here. Alright, he goes for the lightning down the really horrible lightning right there in my opinion because he could have just easily um, let it go and he could have defended with the tesla but he kind of just made sure that the uh, flying machine is dead i don't know why he did but i think he has a little bit of trauma in the flying machine um it's also not my business so i'm not gonna care about it i'll just go for the goblin hut right here all right this is a nice goblin hut but i kind of just used the uh log and it was pretty lucky i'll just go for the ability right here since i want to go for the big black bomb dropping in the princess ass so i'm going for it and he's going for the knight right there oh uh, the knight is not bad in my opinion um he also has the ice golem and the all right so he's going for the ice golem plus the Expo, so I'll go for this, and also I think I should go for the Royal Hawks right here. And this is a nice Royal Hawks because I know that he has the Tesla, but he doesn't really have enough elixir for all of that kind of defense. And he's using the lightning, so this is not a bad defense right there. I'll go for the Gadgets right here. I knew that he was going to do something else, so he, he does go for that, but it's still fine. I could just go for the Barbara right here, and also go for the Fireball. Because the fireball really uh, does a lot of damage and he still doesn't care about the zappies. But if he doesn't care about it, it's still a lot of damage and I'll go for the goblin hut right here. He may go for another expo but it's still fine because he's probably gonna like him this. Yeah, he's liking this so I can just go for the flying machine right here in the back since I know that he doesn't really have any air cards to block my cards. And I'll just go for the um, car barrel right here. Right, he has the most but it's kind of late to down much right there. I go for the fireball, kind of a little desperation, but still fine. Um, he does have a lot of elixir, so he is blocking it. I'll go for the goblin hut right here. Now, this hut will probably um kill the musketeer, and also I'll go for the nice little recluse right here. I also like thought about going for it because um, I don't like him that. Yeah, he's liking this, and I don't know what that deck is, but this guy surely sucks. Anyways, I'll, I'll just go for the flying machine plus the um, Royal Hawks because this guy is going to use the Tesla right 100%. Alright, he doesn't use the Tesla, so oh my god, he used the Tesla a little bit late. And I think that is almost my dream. 319 remains. I'll just go for the bar barrel right here. Alright, nice bar barrel to take down the Tesla, but kind of, kind of fair, but it live up to my height, so I'll go for the golf hub right here. This guy has to pull out his knife and he's going for the. I don't really know what his intention is. This guy really does suck. Now, he doesn't really have enough elixir for the anything, so I'll, I'll go for this, and this is probably game. Alright, this guy sucks. Anyways, I'll just meet you guys in the next game. Alright, so hopping on to the next match against this Noah, um, he has the flying machine in the level 10 uh, circuit. Uh, flying machine is really easy to get uh, the masteries to be honest because it is like really um, easy mastery like level 3 right there. It's like hitting the um, troops like 10 times or I cannot remember what exact time it was but it's like hitting troops like so many times when single deployed. It's really easy and it's also really um, nice to play because Flying Machine also always gets a lot of value, and I really love to see that. Anyways, I'll just go for the um, nice little, little frame right here, 
And I also go for the recruits now because the recruits can really take down the Viking Miner. He doesn't really have the um nice little hunter and cycle, so he has to take in some damages. Now he has the hunter and cycle and also the fish boy and cycle. But you guys also have to like memorize the cycle and if you do that then you can just probably defend it really well. So I know that he has the hunter plus the fish boy, so I'll go for the mighty miner right here. He also has the mighty miner right in his hand, so I'll go for the goblin hook right here. This guy is going to use yeah, look at that. He has the hunter, so he is now back to the log right there. Alright, I'm unfortunate that the goblin huts on goblins are killed, but it's still fine. Alright, he's going for that, so I'm going to go for the flying machine right here. If he has the uh, fireball, then he'll probably just end me right here, but he doesn't, so really interesting play by him. I'll go for the zappies right here, since the zappies will probably just deal a lot of it. Oh my god, don't tell me he just missed it. Don't tell me. He did tell me. Alright, this guy's, this guy's screwed right here. I'm really unfortunate that the ghost is targeting everything, but it's still fine. I'll just go for the car barrel right here. The car barrel is going to do some damage, and the fish boy is kind of just doing nothing, so it's going to take a lot of damage. Alright, so 270 left. That was like a great win over ring awareness by me. I don't think I should call this a ring awareness, but whatever. I'll just go for the mighty right here, take him down, and I'll also go for the um, hot right here and the other side. Because the hub is going to help me a lot, and I'll just go for the uh, nice ability for the Mighty Miner. Because this guy is likely going to place alright, I knew that he was going to do that, so place a little bit of more damage. Yeah, that is what I need. I'll just go for the Fireball at this point, and also Fireball plus the Bar Barrel, because it's going to help me a lot. No shots from the fat badass, and I'll go for the Royal Hogs right here. Okay, so. Alright, I knew that he had the lightning, so he was not using the fireball, so I knew he had the lightning, but he kind of just used it so late, and that is why he's free. I'll go for the goblin hub right here, since he used the lightning, he has to cycle like 2 more cars or 3 more cars to get me back, so he doesn't really, he cannot, yeah, he cannot place the energy in time. I'll just go for the proof and this is my move, so let's just hop into the next match. This was an easy match right here. Okay, so I'm hoping on the next match against this Yogi guy. Um, he has the Inferno Tower and Pekka, maybe Bini Pekka in uh, Masteries, but also I don't care. I'll just go for the old house right here. Alright, that was a really lucky play by him. I'll just go for the 3-1 uh, split. I was not really into the field. Oh my god. He's placing <laughs> the e lids in the um, lower bracket. It's really interesting to see that, but alright, there was two shots. Alright, that's too scary. I did not know that was ha happening. I'll just go for the flying machine right here. He has to place the executioner, so I'm gonna go for the mic. Never mind. We need a big brain play right here. Alright. I kind of just placed the recruits a little bit late, so I know that the um, executioner will die. Alright, that was a really nice draw. This guy has the really strange deck. I don't think I remember him, but whatever. I'll just go for the hut right here since he used the log. Now the goblin hub is probably going to take down the mini key, hopefully, but it doesn't seem like it. Fine. Now I'll just go for the barb barrel because it's going to take down the is um okay he has the skeletons right here so i'll go for the goblins no i'm not gonna go for the goblins i'm always like a little bit of choking on my talking but please understand i'm native korean all right so i'll go for the um mighty miner right here it doesn't really target my power so it's fine and i think once the dog may die but it kind of survived everything so i'll go for the royal hog right here it doesn't really have enough of its strength this guy's dead and this guy's already screwed right here so um it is like really three five wins so i don't think it played well nor that he uh, played incredibly i'll just go for the goblin hunt right here this hunt is going to uh, deal a lot of damage and this guy kind of just took him right here all right he has the uh, unit right here that's a really bad unit for him to be honest i'll just go for the Oh, freaking fireball. I kind of missed the fireball, but it did got everything. I did not knew it. I thought like it was going to pass something or kind of just uh, fail it, but 
Alright, this is what I need to see. And this guy's kinda screwed at this point. I just go for the goblin heart and he's he has to invert the oh my god. He's using the pet guy's face. Really interesting play by him, but um it's really bad for I'll just go for the fireball plus the nice little bar barrel. Bar barrel is like always the best. It does take out everything and it kind of deals a lot of damage. Now this is already doing right here. This guy sucks, so lots of good rounds I don't like really nice victory. So let's head into the another match and hopefully I can get 6 wins. Alright, hopping on to the next match against the Yu Xiang. Um, I don't really know what his name means, but I don't really have any intentions of figuring out. Um, he must be a like, um, Taiwanese, because Chinese are all blocked from the Supercell game. I don't really understand their policy or something like that, but it's just that. I'll just go for the bar barrel right here. This is a nice, nice bar barrel, and this guy has to take my bar barrel. Oh my god, he's using the goblins. He could have just let it by and did not take any damage, but... I think this guy has some kind of a butterflies flying flying inside the head. Now go for the um fireball right there. That was not a great fireball. I did not knew that he had the cannon cannon right there. If he had the cannon then I would have all gone a little bit different. Alright, so he's going for the um bar barrel in the corner. I'll, I'll just use my bar barrel since it's too much damage. Um I th I was like a little bit low on elixir since I used the flying machine plus the um Royal Hawk right there, but now I know what he has, so I'm not gonna use any more big, big time elixir. If he uses the princess, then I'm gonna pull out my mighty miner right here so that I kill the princess and I'll go for the ability right here to take it all right. Like, I knew what was gonna happen, so so our average players like this always goes for the princess at the bridge. Oh my god. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my god. That would have been so much better if the Mighty Miner was like a little bit better at the game, but it does happen. Now, he has the um, cannon right there, I don't think he has the fireball, so I'll go for the flying machine, this is a infinite value right here, and this guy has to go for that. And I'll go for the fireball right here, since I know that his fireball is like, that this fireball is going to take out the princess, but if I take down the princess, then he has to spend more cards to defend it. Alright, so this is what I wanted, so I'm, got, so I'm getting a lot of damage. I'll just go for the Goblin Hut right here. It's a nice Goblin Hut. Now this Hut is going to take down that cannon right there. Okay, some of the Goblins may go to the Princess Tower, that is what I want to see. So this kind of happens, the Goblins are pushing the Princess and and so helping them out. I'll go for the um, Zappies right here, this is nice Zappie. Alright, so this does take a lot of power, and I'll go for the Royal Hawk right here. Um, this is a kind of questionable play if you say so, but I do not really have anything to just play, so I'll go for the um, hooks right there. And I don't think this guy is a really nice player, to be honest. So I'll go for the bar barrel right here. This was nice bar there. Okay, kind of just missed the um, one goblin right there, but still fine. Okay, I, I thought like he could survive, but it's kind of unfortunate. Alright, so I'll go for the fireball plus the ability. This is going to help me out a lot. This could kind of survive. Alright, please. Mighty Mine, please. Please connect, please. Alright, it did connect, so I got a lot of damage, but still not enough. I have to use some elixir to fully kill him, but I'll go for the oil tools right here. Yeah, I kind of actually caught him nice. Alright, so. This guy does have a lot of elixir. Alright, guys, a flying machine connection. Three shots, nice. So. I only need one hockey, but I want to play it safe. I do not really want to choke, or I do not really want to kill myself. I'll just go for the fireball right here. And this is a nice fireball. And also, I'll go for the uh, flying machine right here. Okay, he missed the uh, princess uh, timing, so that was pretty unfortunate for him, but very, very fortunate for me. Now, that black bomb is the post. Oh my god. I'll be disaster. So this was a good game and I'll see you guys in the next video. Well not like next video, I'm seeing you guys right here. Hopping on to the next match against this CBR. Um 
So it's time for we go for the Royal Hawk split. Alright, he has the tombstone right there. That is a really unfortunate tombstone for us because he can defend like three elixir with five. He's, he's using the um Zapis right there. That's kind of an interesting play by him because this may indicate that he has the um should I say the graveyard. Um graveyard is not a good matchup for the Royal Hawks because the can't the poison can just kill everything but still fine now i'm just going for the flying machine right here this machine is going to do a lot okay he's going for the mother witch this is 100 a graveyard right here oh it's not a graveyard oh oh smart play smart smart plays by him I thought like my flying machine was gonna survive so I kinda did the bar barrel but it was like waste of elixir so a really nice play by him, a little bit of props. Um I'll just go for the goblin hut right here since he used the mother witch so he does have to use um two more cards to go for the mother witch. Well I think one more card so not the reverse. Alright, he has the mother witch back in cycle, so he may go for the mother witch at the bridge. Um that is kind of unfortunate if you say say so so I'll go for the mighty minor right here. Let's use the um giant skeleton. Now I can't really go for it. Um, kind of fortunate, but still fine. Now I'll just go for the uh, fireball right here. There's a nice fireball, and okay, he's gonna use the zap 100%. Oh, I thought he was gonna use the zap, but he's kind of predicting my moves. All right, I I really want this kind of game play from these players. It always has to be. Okay, so I think uh, my um. Princess Tower will only get one shot, and still fine. Alright, so this is a really interesting and also really a fun match. I have to take down the um, Mother Witch for safety, or else I'm dead. So I have to cycle the Fireball, so that's kind of pain in the ass, but still fine. Now let's go for the uh, Fire Machine right here, and I need him to play something. Alright, pretty unfortunate moment right there. Now let's go for the Bar Barrel, this is a nice Bar Barrel. Okay. I don't know how I even got the damage, but that's fine. Um, it's not fine. <laughs> it's not fine damage. I'll just go for the um, nice little jab right here. Um, all right, he's using the um, log right there, and I'm not gonna go in because it's kind of just a really risky play. Um, I should go for the recluse right here. The recluse will probably take down his uh, giant jelly. All right, he has to. Very interesting play by him. He has the box so this is not going to be an easy match for all of us. Now, um, this is really hard. I'll just go for the mic in the back. I hope that he uses the mother witch where I can just kill it, but it's not happening right now, but it's still fine. I'll just go for the flying machine right here. The flying machine is definitely going to help me out a lot. I'll just go for the world hawk, and this is a nice world hawk too, by the way. So I'll go for the, um, nice. That was absolutely what I wanted. So I knew that he was going to go for that, so I kind of played um, predicted his move arsenal. Alright, we have two hockeys on the board, this doesn't matter, really matter that much. I'll go for the world pro recruits right here. I know that he's going to um, take down the giant skeleton, so it's a really nice play for us. I'll go for the goblin hut because I think this fireball just moderates every single time I see it. Um, I also have to have the fireball in the list because the mother witch is kind of just really opening the act for us. And alright, so we, we could have taken down the uh, princess tower, but alright, so I'll go for the um, royal hawks right here. If he goes for the rocket, he doesn't really go for the rocket, so I have to go for the white man right here and also go for the royal hawks. So he, he will pull out something else. I knew that he was going to pull out that. Okay, and a fireball comes in. That's a nice fireball by us. And yeah, please. Alright, I haven't used my Mike Miner ability, but I'm not gonna use it right here. Alright, so this is kinda dangerous. Okay, 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 I can't choke. I can't choke, but I'm not, not gonna lie, it was not bad. Oh, I can't choke. I kinda just choke. Um, I cannot really believe why I did, but yeah, this was an unfortunate situation. And I'll go for the Goblin Hut right here. Now, um, this is an interesting match. I'll go for the Mighty Miner right here. I knew he was gonna do that, so. Alright, it's really unfortunate to be in this situation, but still fine. Now, I can just go for the recruit right here. This is the only play that. Oh my god. I'm gonna say this is the only play that, that won, but. Oh my god. That flying machine just connected, and I kinda just lost the match. Um. 
I thought like that flying machine was going to destroy the house, but yeah, that happened. And all right, so this was a really interesting matchup. I think he played well. Um, he just go for the flying machine. He just went, and that's a nice play by him. I should have played a little bit better, but he kind of just failed. So yeah, the past is the past. Future is future. So I'll go for the um goblin hunt again. This time I'm not gonna lose this. Alright, so they're giving me the fireball matchup from the start. I'm going for Royal Hawks right here because the Hawks are going to deal a lot of damage. Maybe like four or five hundred. Okay, he, he has the um really fast cycle. I think this is going to be the Expo right here. Expo is really hard, man. Oh, okay. Expo is, uh, to be honest, really easy matchup for me. So if, if this is Expo, then I already won this because he doesn't really have any, any counters to the World Recruit. So that is the only thing that we all ha always have to worry about. I'll go for the Mighty Miner right here, and I also go for the recruits. Alright, I think he has the um, Expo 100%. Alright, so he's going for the... Okay, that was unexpected. I thought like the Ice Spirit was like OP right there. Um, if it wasn't for the Ice Spirit, I would have taken down everything, but sometimes unfortunacy, unfortunacy happens. Um, oh. Ice Spirit really needs a nerf. I think it really deserves a substantial nerf of the time, of the radius. Um, it does really need that, but yeah, Supercell is Supercell. They're not going to nerf it for 100%. Now, just go for the Goblin Hut. Just going to use the Fireball for 100%. Now, I can just go for the Royal Hawks right here. Since I know he has something else, he's going to use the Fireball on the Pokies right there. And I also go for the nice little Bar Barrel. Alright, so that far barrel is not gonna take out, but it's really tanking me, so it's really fine. So, we did not get any damage from the expo, but he still has a nice defense ready to come on. I think he is, I think he knows how to play this play this expo, so I have to be a little bit careful, and also I have to be a, pa a passionate player. I'll just go for the Mike Miner in the back, and this guy has to do something, or else it's cool. So he's going for the expo, oh no no no, not the expo, he's going for the archer right there. He used the fireball, so I'm going to go for the fireball right here. He doesn't really have the. I think he has knife and cycle. All right, that is the flying machine that I'm looking for, guys. Yeah, that is the flying machine that I was looking for. And the thing is that I got by asking by that by that exact flying machine in the last game. All right, it, it is a little bit bad. I thought that he was going to take out something else, but if he uses the fireball, then it's kind of screwed at the point. All right, so he's going for that. Okay, let's go for the fireball right here. I'm going for the Mikey right here. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen, so I really kind of just did the play. And I know he has the, um, doesn't have the test line cycle. He has the test line cycle, but I fireball all of this. And this was a nice fireball. I know that the archers are still alive, like only on XP, but... Okay, this is a little bit of dangerous moment right here. Okay, the archers are dead. Um, I'll go for the flying machine right here. And I'll also go for the Goblin Hunt. I know that he has the Fireball back in cycle, so he, I, I need to pull out his Fireball right here. And also, this is a really nice play. I'll go for the Mighty Miner right here. And also go for the Bar Barrel since he doesn't really have anything. Alright, he's going to Fireball my Mighty Miner right here. And I'll also go for the Jackets right here. And it got a lot of damage. And I'll go for right, I'll go for this right here. And alright, so if he uses another Tesla, then I'm just going, I'm just going to Fireball this shit. Alright, I really did well, so the fireball is like big. Um, the archers are still alive, and I'll go for the Zabbis right there. The Zabbis kind of failed. I'll go for the flying machine right here. If he does go for the expo, then I'll just go for the recruits play. And also recruits plus the bar barrel, because I don't really want to deal with the archers too much. And he does have to uh, spend some more elixir to kind of defend. And alright, he's going for the uh, fireball and the flying machine so it's not bad. I'll go for the goblin hunt right here since I know that I have the elixir advantage or everything. I'll just go for the mighty right here and I'm gonna kind of really fire all that so it's still fine. I'll just go for the flying machine right here and also I have to wait for this moment. I'll go for the zappies right here and it's a nice zappy. Alright so I'll go for the fireball on the archers right here. All I need to do is kind of keep up the cycle and beat the zaps. I'll go for the recruit right here. This is a nice recruit. So I knew that he was going to love my um, goblins for sure because it was like really low on HP. 
If we just keep using that on the defense, then he's going to lose this match. Only 20 seconds left, and if it's not a full connection, I don't really see how he's going to come back from this. I'll go for the roll recruits right here, and the nice recruits, and I'll go for the fireball right here, since he's kind of low on the water, and alright, this is the game, and it's really is an asset. Um, I don't think he was kind of choking, and he kind of just failed to capitalize on the game. Alright, so I kinda won this match, it was really easy. He could have just um really exercised with me in the first half and he was a great player, but he kinda just failed that and he's getting what he deserves. Anyways, I hate the expo players. So is the match just going on? Um I'm facing this guy, um Isolado, I don't know, but he just let's get it. So I'll just go for the Mighty Miner in the back. No, not now, but Later, if I do not really uh, have anything to do, I'll just go for the Mighty Miner in the back or do something else. But now I think it's a nice time to go for the Mighty Miner in the back. So, <clears throat> Mighty in the back, this guy has to do something else. Alright, he's going for the Monk. Um, the Monk is a really um, nice card to see since it got a big substance in her and nobody's kind of using it, but somebody's using it right now. I'll go for the Zapis right here. Oh, my neck is gone because of my. <clears throat> I do not drink any water, so sorry for that, but at least I'm just going. Alright, please. Oh my god. I think I did the right timing, but... I think the timing was not bad, but the problem was that the monk um, used the ability in the very last second, and yeah, some unfortunacy happens. Like, Alright, he's going for the... Ah, uh, impossible matchup. Alright, this is a impossible matchup, so I have I cannot really beat him, but I'll try. Um it's always like trying, so if I even lose this, I do not have any regrets since this is a horrible matchup and this guy has to win this. If he failed to win this then I don't really know how he's going to live his life. So I'll go for the Goblin Hot right here. Um I cannot really just go for anything else, so Oh, this is a bad matchup from like seeing and seeing it over and over again. It's going to have the one. Oh my god, he's not defending. I mean, he had to give up, but. Yeah, it's like little things. I knew that was gonna happen, so it's going to be a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage right there. Look at this. I knew that he was going for that, so. Oh, uh, this is why I'm saying this is an impossible matchup. Alright, he's going in with the smart ass place. Oh my god, he has to throw my power? What the hell? Oh my god. Yep, the fire machine will kill it. That is what I want to see right there. And I also need something else. Um, I'll go for the flying machine right here. And this is a nice flying machine value. Okay, the machine did not kill it, but it's still fine. Now I'll just go for the Zappy right here. Also go for the Mighty Miner right here. Okay, yeah, I think this is nice. Now I'll go for the Royal Hawk right here. A nice hockey play. Also go for the Star Barrel to take out everything. This guy still has to do something or else he's good. Now, alright, that's a lot of damage from the PBs, and this guy is kind of losing and choking at the same time. I'll go for the fight. Oh my god, this guy used the <laughs> Tombstone right there. Yeah, it's a really interesting play by him, but uh, I don't care. I'll just go for the flying machine right here to take, take him out. I think he has the um, execution already in cycle, so I have to be a little bit careful of what I'm doing, what I'm tasting right here. I'll just go for the mighty right here and also go for the world hogs. But this is a nice world hog play. And alright, I haven't used my ability. Okay, I think I did, so it will pop and I think this is game. He doesn't really have to. He has to NATO, but it's still fine. I'll just go for the... Oh my god. Is that 3 crown? Yup, I can take the 2 crown. Victory right here, man. I can't really believe he lost this matchup. He could have just gone for the Executioner plus the Freeze and just NATO everything and he would have won, but... Um, he was a horrible player. I don't think he should play Clash Royale. Maybe he should find his, um, something else in his brain. And he should just go on to the COC or maybe Boom Beach Heyday or Clash Mini or something like that. Obviously, I think he will fail every single time when he go to the matchups. So, 
let's just play against this guy. Um, that guy has the 2v2 emote. Also, I have the 2v2 emote. I gotta find it. I think it's going to be in the last one. Alright, it was. So, I'm hoping to find the machine right here. I kind of just messed up a little bit so because of the emote finder, but still fine. I'll just go for the flying machine. I think I said that line, but whatever. Alright, he's going to have a really interesting play right there. I can take him out. Um, okay, this is a, not a great timing for the recruits, but I have to go in because I need to take that uh, E with out of here. And alright, this is nice. Okay, that skeleton is going somewhere. That is what I want to see. The skeleton has to go somewhere. Alright, is it coming back? Okay, it's not. So I'll go for the Goblin Hut. Okay, yeah, I cannot go for the Goblin Hut, but it's still fine. If I'm right. <laughs> Alright, so I can use the ability right here and it's going to pop and it's going to kill everything. Horrible place by him, so I'll go for the World Hawk right here. Um, he also used the um, arrows right here, so he doesn't really have that much elixir. So he only has the Skarmy and still the Skarmy is going to get a lot of damage. And I'll go for the Bar Barrel right here. The Bar Barrel is going to take out every Skarmy and it's going to deal some damage right there. If he uses the e then he's probably a stupid ass bitch. Okay, he doesn't use the Ewis, so that was a really nice ring awareness by him. So I'll go for the um, Goblin Hut. No, I'm not going to go for the Goblin Hut because I know that he has the um, P.E.K.K.A. and plus the um, Ewis in Cycle. But I'll still go for it because he just placed the P.E.K.K.A. in the back. That was a bad play by him. I'll just go for the um, Flying Machine right here because Flying Machine is probably going to take him out. I'll go for the Flying Machine and this guy has the... Um, I think he has the skeleton back in Psycho, but oh my god, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god, I cannot choke this. I cannot choke this. No. Why is he so damn fucking lucky? Look at that. Skeleton spawned, every single skeleton spawned it back. If it wasn't for that, then I would have. Oh, never mind. This game is great. Every single time when I use the graveyard, Skelly is always goes to the other side, like spawning on the front. But when he's using the Skelly, there's a pass rail Skelly right there. So it's just graveyard is pass rail. Okay, kind of just missed that, and I'm getting a lot of damage. Hopefully, the Royal Hawks will get it. The Fireball, I know that this is not enough, but okay, this, this is enough. Okay. Alright, so I want this graveyard matchup. It could have been much more worse, or if he wasn't that lucky, it, was, it would have been much more easier match for me. But he was so fucking lucky every time. But yeah, whatever. I'll just go for the next match. So I'm hopping onto the next match against this guy. I cannot just read it because I don't really know any Mandarin, Chinese, something like that. Alright, this is nice. Now, alright, he has the um, Golden Knight right there. It's a really nice golden knight, and I think I'll go for the flying machine right here, and this is a nice machine, so it's gonna use something else, alright, alright, that's not bad, at least I got the damage, and I'll just go for the um, nice little tapir right there, because he has to pull out something else, I'll just go for the mighty miner, and if he has something else, then I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna use my fireball on that, because I know that he has something else, and yeah, that's a lot of damage. Oh, okay, okay. He's, he's choking right there, but I'm also choking. Oh, my. please, please, please. Oh, God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. I missed the bar barrel. I could have. I missed one tile. Oh, God. Why am I making these mistakes? Like, oh, oh, freaking. Yeah, I my mental is kind of just out right here, but I'll just go for the Goblin Hut. I'll try. Like, oh, <laughs> I already screwed myself. Oh god, why did I miss that tile? Oh fuck, why did I miss that? The fuck no! He's gonna use his ability. Go for the recruit. Oh no. Oh, I can defend it. I could have defended the mini P and. This would have been my game, but I'm choking myself. Oh, yeah, I choked myself, and oh, do something else. Maybe 
What? All right. Oh no! Please no, God no! Please no! He has everything right now. Insightful. Oh no! If he uses the ability, then I'm dead. Because I have to. Oh, I cannot just do anything because of this. Okay. All right. Okay, this is done. I cannot do this. Bullshit. Oh my god, I won this matchup. Oh my god. Oh my god, I thought I would I was not going to de defend it, but it really happened well. Um I knew that the mighty miner would kill the bomber, so uh kinda calculated well. It was a nice play, but I could have just played that much more easier. I should have played much more better. Anyways, I'll just go for the barb barrel now. This is a cycle matchup with the um, Miner, so I'm not gonna follow a cycle, so which means that I have to play really really well, um, or else I'm screwed. I hope he doesn't have the Fireball, um, it seems like he doesn't, but always you do not know what is going to happen next. Now, I'm gonna take out the Valk, yeah, the Valk is a little bit, um, yes, and, okay, I'll go for the Heartbreak here, I think this Hot Buddies are gonna be a lot of help for me. Alright, I can take this damage, still fine. The flying machine is doing a lot of damage, so it's really nice to see that. Um, he has the uh, bomber back, bomb tower back in cycle, so I'm not gonna go for the PDs. I'll go for the um, zappies in the back. He's probably gonna do something else right here. Alright, he's going for the skeletons, and I think that's a nice play by him. I also have to go for the skeletons, and I think he will... Alright, I knew that was gonna happen, but... I had to let it go because I cannot just predict fireball in the first half <laughs> or else I'm, I, there's a high chance of me getting screwed so I really do not want that. I'll just go for the Mighty Mino right here. Alright, he's going to use the uh, army right there. That's a really bad thing to do. And I'll go for the uh, flying machine right here. If he goes for something else then I'm gonna do something else to do. Alright. Um, the Mighty Miner is not going to be that much helpful, but still fine. Please take out the flying machine. Fuck. Still fine. Um, if he goes for the Miner, then I'm... Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, I'll go for the Zappies right here. Nice like Zappies. Go for the Warhawks. Nice Warhawk right here. Okay. I was going for the, the Alp right there. That's a really horrible play. He could have just picked the buff a little bit late, but... He did not. I'll just go for the hot buddies right here. Now this hot buddy is going to take out the things that I think he will. Obviously this flying machine was not that helpful. I felt like he was going for the um magic archer, so I kinda just did that play, but a little bit stupid play by me. Sometimes I even did this play. He's going for the um miner right here. It's not a great miner to be honest. To be honest. I have to play passionate and I'm just gonna fireball this shit. He's gonna do that every single time, so but I cannot really prevent him. That's, that is how horrible this game is. I know that he's going to do that, but I cannot prevent it because he has that he has that super magic right there when he's going on. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to change. Everything's gonna change here, Missy. Alright, you missed it. You missed it. Oh my god, this guy sucks. It's not a good game. You played horrible. You played the game horribly and that is what you deserve, alright? Yeah, he's probably gonna go for the magic archer. If he doesn't, then he's dead. He should have went for the magic archer. I don't know why he did that. Yeah, I won the match, so let's just go on to the win, and I think I can end the video right there. Um, it's like daily classic challenge for wins. Oh, it's hard. Like, 
is really hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard. But when you have it, have that in the habit, then um, it's like daily classic challenge. I can do it, something like that. All right, this is 12:50 uh, p.m. in Korea. Kind of just um, having a little bit of time difference, but still fine. A lot of players are having difficulties playing Clash Royale. I am the one who has the difficulty. I'll go for a fireball because I don't really want to meet meet any of this shit, so this is nice. Now, if he's going for the um nice little play, I'll go for a roll with it with a uh, roll hawk. Okay, you kinda missed the uh, play right there. Alright, okay. Ah, it was not that timed well. If it was the great timing, then I would have taken down the uh, Spear Goblin's hut. I wouldn't have to um, use something else, but it couldn't be much more damage, but I think I really tried that well. I'm just going for the timing uh, accurately in the next time. Okay, he's going for the recruit, so I'll go for the recruit right now. Um, it's really important to play like this because um, when you go for the 4-2 split in the mirror matchup, I know that he has to play something else like pretty much powerful in the other lane. So you always have to rely on something else. Okay, now this is not a good matchup, but... I'm not, I'm not gonna say not a good matchup. It is kind of my punchline at this point. I'm always saying like not a good matchup. What is a good matchup for me at this point? I have to think about it. What is a good matchup? Like, I'm, I'm also thinking, what is a great matchup? Okay, somebody's watching um, these plays. I don't think I'm playing that well, but somebody's watching, so I have to... Okay, that guy even missed the bomb. Okay, somebody's watching and I'll go for the uh, World Hawk right here. Okay, this is a nice World Hawk and that's a lot of damage. Oh my god, this guy's screwed. Okay, he has the arrows but he's still fine. Now, I'll go for the um, Mike Miner in the back. If he goes for the recruit, then he has to... Okay, he's doing that. I'll go for the World Hawks. No, I'm not gonna go for the World Hawks. I'll go for the Zapping right here. Alright, this is a nice Zapping play and... Okay, he's using the nice little... Um, Flying machine. I'll go for the flying machine right here. My own flying machine. Yeah, this, is, this was a night machine. Alright. Now, this is not bad. I have to take that mighty miner down. And also I'll go for the buff. Nice little ability. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. Okay. I'll go for the fireball right here. Okay, I think I won this match. Um, this guy kind of played really horrible. I can just cycle my fireball back and I can just win this. So if he's gonna go for the hockey's right here. If he doesn't, then he's screwed. He's screwing. Alright, um, I'll go for the Royal Hawks and that's pretty much it. I cannot just defend it because I know that this is a nice game for us and this is not a good game. He kind of just played horrible. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow of getting 357? I don't know, I should count. Um, let's see. So how many classic challenges do I have? Um, I have like 357, so tomorrow I'm gonna meet you guys with 358 classic challenge video. Thank you for watching and peace out.